Exodus chapter 32, from verse 7 to 14. Moses pleads with God, who wants to punish the people for falling into idolatry, and the Lord relents. There was once a prominent sportsman who had a desk plague that reads, I am third. An interviewer noticed the plague and asked him, What exactly does that mean? Very simple, he answered, God is first, others are second, and I am third. Though this athlete had confidence and they held the self-esteem, he realized that the greatest calling of life is to serve others. In today's reading, we see that Moses had these priorities too. Look at how he responded when God threatened to give up on the rebellious people he had brought out of Egypt and instead raise up a great nation from Moses and his descendants. In Exodus chapter 32, verse 10. Rather than look forward to such a bright future, Moses declined the honor and interceded for the people instead. Yes, as humble as Moses was, he could also be bold. He demonstrated a kind of bold humility that always considered the spiritual needs and interests of others ahead of his own. Moses was meek, more humble than anyone else, else on earth. In Numbers chapter 12, verse 3. But his was a meekness combined with strength. Inner strength to assume leadership without fanfare, outer strength to correct and to challenge others even as he encouraged them. It was in this balance between gentleness and firmness that Moses was foreshadowed Christ's perfect blend of compassion and justice. Friends, like Moses and like Jesus, we too should say, I am third. We do this by honestly admitting our weaknesses and humbly acknowledging our talents as gifts from God. Gifts bestowed on us as earthen vessels. 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 7 In using these gifts, we are called to balance the dove with the eagle within. We are called to speak out for justice with conviction and without compromising our principles of popularity, or rather principles for popularity. We are called to care for the helpless, especially those who are closest to us, and show the world how valuable it is to be on the side of the poor, the sick, the needy and the oppressed. Friends, as we just set aside the fleeting rewards of worldly acclaim, we will discover a far greater honor being members of the body of Christ who need and serve each other through the unity of Christian brotherhood. Let us pray. Father, you have lovingly called us into your service. We commit ourselves to your care and guidance. May your name be glorified forever. Amen. Thank you so much, my dear friend, for listening. Please do remember to subscribe. God bless you.